Hey, what is up my friends? In this episode, I'm gonna share with you how to overcome burnout as an entrepreneur. I know I've dealt with it and that's why this is a topic that means so, so much to me. There's so many other people that I know and work with in the industry as an entrepreneur, especially if you're building your business online. Burnout is a thing. It's, it's The struggle is real. And I'm gonna share with you today three things that most people tend to overlook, which is gonna help you to cut down on the stress and the frustration and the overwhelm and all the other kind of negative feelings that you may have where people start to tend to you know avoid and resist and kind of procrastinate their business or maybe they're going through and doing their business and they're just they're just kind of going through the motions so today i want to kind of share with you what three things to really look at for yourself to really have some areas of clarity really for yourself to help close that burnout gap and to get you back on the train where you're loving your business again and and you look forward to building your business like that's that's really what we've you know, are in business for, to have that time and financial freedom, but to also build a business that we love and look forward to every single day. So welcome, welcome. If we're meeting for the first time, my name is Melissa Kibler, and I've been in the industry an entrepreneur for, gosh, seven, seven years now. I was a former teacher turned entrepreneur. I'm not going to go ahead and get into that story right now, but my main focus and my passion really is all about helping entrepreneurs ambitious entrepreneurs that have these big hearts, that have these big, huge goals in their hearts and looking for more alignment in their business, in their life, looking for more flow to ultimately, you know, become more profitable and have more fun in your business. So let's go ahead and dive into it. I'm going to break down and get right to it. The three things, the three areas that I really want you to to take a close look at. So, okay, number one, clarity. And what do I mean by that? Clarity around where you're going. And you might have heard this before, so stay with me here. Clarity around where you're going. And I'm not talking about where you're going when it comes to a specific rank advancement goal. If you're a network marketer, I work with a lot of network marketers. Um, I'm not talking about a specific number goal. I'm talking about clarity around your specific number. Here's the thing, with with burnout, a lot of us are, I feel like are on this hamster wheel of always striving, 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 and we're merely striving and surviving in our business rather than thriving and enjoying the ride and enjoying the journey, right? So I want to ask you a question. Do you know your number? Do you know your specific number? So to help you kind of identify what this might look like is what is your specific number that you would love to hit each month to make things easier financially, to take the stress off, to create more peace in, you know, in your day, in your months where you're not so striving to hit this huge, huge goal. But what if, what if your goal was a lot closer than you think? Right? Because I think that's kind of where we can allow the burnout to set in. And a lot of people have these huge goals whether it be a rank advancement, you know, goal, whether it be a number goal, I hear a lot, I just want to make out six figures a year. Or if you've achieved that already, I want to hit, you know, seven figures. And we're always striving, striving, striving. But most of us don't really know the exact number. Like if I asked you, what's the exact number to the penny of what you need to make each month to maybe cover your finances, to have the the extra freedom to go, you know, travel and, and all those things. When you really take the time to take a look at all the things you want to do, donate to charity. Like, what does that look like? Maybe you're saving for, I know I have kids, a teenager now, you know, thinking about vehicles and maybe, maybe college, right? Like all these things. What might you need to hit to reach your goals, like knowing that specific number and know what that needs to look like per month, right? So that way where you're at, 
it, it almost takes us off that hamster wheel because it becomes more attainable, right? Then we can truly meet ourselves where we're at and be like, okay, this is where I'm at. This is where I'm at in my journey. This is where I need to go. And then you can start reverse engineering that back. But there's so many times that I hear people say, hey, I cannot wait until I hit that six figure mark or oh, I can't wait until I, I reach that seven figure mark almost to put that feather in our cap, you know, in a sense or oh, yes, I did it. Now what's the next one? What's the next one? Oh, I, I achieved it, right? But so many times once we achieve it, it's like we start thinking about, well, what's next, right? We got to keep going. We got to keep going. And that's where that hustle mentality lies. That's where a lot of us become like on this hamster wheel, always striving, striving to the next, to the next, to the next, right? And we don't really maybe even need that, right? So I want to challenge you. I want you to really take a close look at the clarity around your specific number. What does that number truly mean to you down to the penny, what you need and start there. So, so that's, that's number one is knowing your number. Okay. And, and make sure if, if you're new to this page, I'm going to be releasing a new episode, a new show every single week. And with the three things that I'm sharing with you today, I'm going to be going deeper. So I'm going to be going deeper into helping you discover that number in my specific process and doing that. So make sure you subscribe to this channel so that we can go ahead and get notified and be the first to be notified when a new episode is released. So I want to dive into the second thing, okay? When we're talking about burnout and how to overcome burnout, you know, as an entrepreneur, the second thing that comes to my mind that I see happen a lot, and I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of uh, personal students of mine, so I'm seeing these repeating repetitive patterns. And I'm seeing people resist their business more than ever, you know, with avoidance or procrastination. And the question is like, does, does it have to be that way, right? Does it have to be that way? What might we need to do or have in place where again, we can show up just loving our business, loving our strategy that, that we do in our business over and over and over again, right? Every single day. The second thing that I want to share with you that most people tend to overlook is their strategy. A lot of the times, again, if you're a network marketer, you join a business, you get really excited, you plug into their systems, and all of a sudden you're, you, you start, you know, you're off to the races, right? You, you plug in, they have a system, but it may not necessarily be a system that you personally align and connect with, which you know, comes into play the avoidance, the procrastination, the resistance, the stress, beating yourself up because now you're not showing up in your business consistently or you're showing up and you're like, this, is, this isn't fun, you know, or it's not duplicatable too, right? I've seen that happen as well. So strategy, here's what I want you to think about when it comes to strategy. I want you to ask yourself, what's currently working in my business right now, when it comes to your specific strategy, what are the things that I'm doing, those income producing things in my business that I'm doing, that I enjoy doing as well too. And if you don't, there's still some areas that we can work on to, to come to that place of, of really, you know, enjoying the things that you do and making your business fun. That'll be in another episode. But I want you to think about what's currently working and and what's not working, right? What's not working in your business or what's a strategy maybe that you've been told to do or maybe a strategy that you just do it because like, well, I think I have to do this, that that's not clearly working for you. So I think that's the second thing is again, to get clarity around your strategy. What are you aligning with? What, what aren't you aligning with? And really placing that kind of name and label to it and becoming aware of those things. Okay. And again, stay tuned, make sure you subscribe to this channel because I'm going to be giving you some practical tips and strategies that you can implement to start creating a daily mode of operation, a weekly mode of operation, a monthly mode of operation, where you can start to create your own processes that you can create more of that alignment and flow, which gets me really, really, really excited. 
And the the third thing that I want to bring attention to, and this isn't the sexiest thing, and sometimes, again, these are the things that I love to talk about and share because I firmly believe it's not talked about enough. And after working with hundreds and hundreds of people, this is where I see the most gaps happen. And again, in, in the title of this, this video, it's all about the, the things that really are, that people are overlooking. Right. And the, the third thing, the last thing that I want to share that most people tend to overlook when it comes to feeling more of the burnout as an entrepreneur in their business is taking a look at their values. Right. And most people, when I ask them, like, what are your core values? I get this blank stare because they've never been asked that question before. We kind of think that we know up here. It's like, oh, I value this or I value this, you know, in terms of health or fitness or um, freedom, you know, building that business as an entrepreneur. And a lot of the times they don't put two and two together. A lot of the times we don't make the connection, right? So when I'm talking about values as another kind of area of focus to maybe take a look at, take a look and ask yourself, what are my core values, right? Is it, is it to be successful in my, my current business right now? Is it to have more quality present time with my kids? Maybe family is a, a, a core value of yours or your own health and fitness, that might also be a core value of yours. So when it comes to burnout, here's what I want you to look for when it comes to your values. I want you to take a look at the specific actions and behaviors, the things that you are doing on a day-to-day -day basis and ask yourself, are these things in alignment with my core values? right? Are they in alignment with my core values? Because we, in reality, right, we all have the same 24 hours in a day. So the question is, where is my time going? Where is my time going? And the things that I'm doing, are they in alignment with my core values? So if your core value is, you know, business, are you doing those things in your business consist consistently every single day to get you closer to where you want to go? If your core value is your, your own personal health, right, and fitness, are you fitting that in? Is that a non-negotiable in your schedule every single day? Same thing with family time, right? It's not about how much time we have. Sometimes it's quality over quantity, right? Quality over quantity. So when you're, when you're, kind of coming up with your business plan and you have your calendar in front of you with your week or your month, that's what I want you to really look at is, you know, take a look at your calendar, see where your time is going, but make sure that you absolutely put in those things that are in alignment with your core values because then you're going to walk away, you're going to hit your pillow every single night feeling just good and proud of yourself because your day, you're, you're in more of that alignment. You know, you're in the driver's seat of your business. And that's what we want. We want to truly feel more proactive versus reactive. And those are the things where, especially when it comes to um, having that, that clarity around our specific number goal and also our our strategy, you know, in the way that we're building our business and also our values and how we're showing up and doing the things or not doing the things in our business, you're going to be able to kind of walk away and at the end of the day say, okay, you know, what are, what are some of the things that, that worked that I did? You know, what are the things that didn't work? What, what might I do differently tomorrow? You know, and how might I show up differently? That'll hopefully help you to bring some of that awareness for you to make those subtle tweaks and changes to truly get set up in a way where, again, we want to be able to thrive as entrepreneurs, especially when you're building a business on social media. It can be chaotic at times. It can be overwhelming at times. So hopefully these three tips that I shared with you today can help you just to narrow in some focus on an area of like, oh, okay, that's where I might start first. Maybe it's all three. Maybe you could use some help and, and take a look under the hood at all three things, but at least before you finish up with this live, with this, with this video today, I want you to choose one. 
Just choose one of those areas and put that in your calendar. Put that in your calendar to take a look at either later today, in the coming weeks, and let me know. Come back and share this episode. Share with me what you learned and what you're going to be putting into place. Share with me um, the things that, that have helped you as well too. I'd love to hear it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate you. Make sure again, you subscribe so you can come back to this video. You can always be notified of the latest releases, you know, the new shows and episodes that I'm going to be putting out week after week after week. You got this, my friend, go out and crush it. Make it a great day. Make it a fantastic day. You, my friend, were born to thrive.